Right now, Mze is wearing the uniform he donned for number one functions, but tomorrow we'll be wrapping him in the sheets. We'll extract him from the casket and lay him in the ground so that he can return to us dust as quickly as possible, just the way he wanted it, and just following the man he admired the most, Jesus Christ. Your Excellency, my father always alikuwa na mambo matatu kama wewe. Not the same, but all his speeches were divided into three. Today I'll divide it into four because he was a foster general. Firstly, you've heard from Bishop Lele about his love for God. Uh, somewhere in that helicopter wreck is his Bible, which was his most precious possession. Anyone who worked with him in DHQ, MAB, LAB, wherever, can attest that he always had a Bible with him. And I am hoping they are able to retrieve it from the accident. I'd want to keep it as a memento and for the rest of the family as well. His Bible meant a lot to him. And between me and him, the rest of the family, my mom and my wife were a bit slow, but we'd always engage in a competition for reading the Bible and discuss the mortality and all these things of life. He understood that his position was temporary and it would always end. Leading up to his death, he almost knew that his time was up. Despite having very many plans for the military and, and for his family. But he spoke in a certain tone that would suggest that, my son, uh, I won't always be here and you will need to take care of my wife and my other children, which I am more than ready to do and it will not be a problem. And Matthew, Matthew 5, 3, the attitudes of Jesus. It says that blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. He was the poorest man in spirit. Easy chaskas mingi, office kubwa, watu kumuita CDF, general sir. To him it was all vanity. It was a necessary thing for him to be able to fulfill his job. Nothing more. As he lays here uh, with his uniform, I see the foot, his medals, his sword and boots. He loved it as a tool for the job, but nothing more. Don't be under any illusion that he thinks is important once he breathed his last. That was point number one, his love for God. His po point number two and point number three is a very blurry line. It is about his soldiers and his family. I can guarantee you right now, Ule private Mwenyameka Pale Jukwa Kona and me, he viewed us almost the same. You may not have had the same privileges I might have had being his son, but in his heart of hearts, the lowest person, the cleaner, to his vice, he treated all of them with respect. And he respected every single human life. His worst days was when he had, uh, or rather different days he hears, his soldiers have been hit. He was actually mourning like he was mourning a, a child. And he'd go down to his knees and ask, God, what is happening here? Had for me strength. Which is what he was doing in the line of duty when he went down. And I want to tell even the bandits or Al Shabab who are celebrating. Muongeze <laughs> click. What you are SF, Mukipua mission, Yakwenda Kulima Adui. Maliza kabisa. Na ukifanya skamishing, confirm. Ongeze tatu za kichwa. That's how he would have wanted it. He wanted to die, in fact, fighting one of these enemies. And so, musikubali kuogopa al-shabab. Kama mudo siwe nyu hakuwa nogopa adui, basi munogopa nini. Siye ya melala hapa. Na sisi wote tuto lala hapa. Usipende maisha yako yote, sana. Na iko kitu moja kubwa kushinda wewe. 
Mwenyezi Mungu na nchi yetu ya Kenya. Lima au alta. Lima musiangushe musi click. Muongeze, muongeze, muongeze. Watu ya boni endeleni kuongeza click kabisa. Because his ultimate dream was to have a fully peaceful Kenya. Hii mambo ya watu kugongo gongwa hitting civilians left, right and center. He had told me many times. Uh, General Karangi started that or that side. I will finish it. He may not be the one to finish it, but all of you now have a responsibility. Musiangushe yo click, weke ni ju. And he always used to say, kazana, weka, kazi mbele, na mungu mbele. Now, lime adui kabisa. Lime adui. Ata kufanyia nini. Utakuja hapa, we'll celebrate you, but Kenyans will remain safe. Those tears of the women in Baringo and their children and the people they won't go in vain. Hata sasa wenye wako deploy duko, wenye walichukua mili zao kwa ndege. Don't despair, bro. Kazi inaendelea. He's gone. Amri bado iko. Since ya metuwa amri, yo mali lazima ifageliwe kabisa. Na hivu ndi itakua. That was point number two and three. I'll talk about his family briefly. Uh, he really loved his wife. And he loved us also as a family. And he did everything for us. Anything he was ready to sacrifice for us, he believed in, in us completely. And his wife, I know, he kept on telling me, And mom, I will take that job seriously, uh, to the best of my ability. Lastly, if you knew General, he loved reading. He loved playing golf. I know his golf buddies really miss him. And he said in an interview when Excellency appointed him was the last time he played. And just when we were talking on Saturday, I told him, Sasa uki retire, itakuwa aje. And he told me, I look forward to going back to golf. But his primary consideration always was this great nation of Kenya. He loved it. And in his death, he wishes that Kenya will remain totally secure, free from external influence, and any Kenyan, be it from Baringo, Chemolingot, Lamu, Mandera, Wajia, any corner of this country, he wanted them to be safe. A child to go to school, get an education, pursue their dreams, and he died doing that and there is no greater death for him. He loved, besides his golf reading, I believe we as a family genuinely believe General had more than 24 hours in a day. Because in a day, Tuesdays and Fridays, in fact, we are normally here. This Tuesday we were here doing the uh, Defense Forces physical readiness test. He said, if I'm the General, I have to show that this test is possible. And ironically, he did, I think, the most press-ups of everyone here. Not the most press-ups, but the most push-ups. We did push-ups. He did 80 of them at his age, over 60. He did press-ups, I think about 50, and he ran 3.2 kilometers in about 19 minutes, which is absolutely phenomenal for his age. So, Pia Nini, Muku Koju, Watu ya vitambi, fuateni mwenende ya general. Sunona me toshe kwa sanduku vizuri. Awaja finya finya toshe vizuri. And so, lastly as I finish, the most important lesson. Should, should you disregard his love for God and what God can do to you in your life and the battles he can help you in? Should you disregard everything? I can tell you something. Ukiwa na mkono gam, auta ipata baraka. Even when God wants to give you money and resources, you need to open your hands. You need to empty your pockets. But yana, generally viyozia umulize, yo sa umevapo, nipatie, anakupatia. Generally, mekwa maapa, nisaidie. He will give you. He was so generous, and as a result of that, as a family, we have never lacked. I am to just try Test your faith. Test your faith. Start. Mwenye na kumbanga pesa, ata umechoka na ye aji. Give him, forget about it. 
Najua apa, he told me the amount of debt ordered to him. And I enjoyed him. If you ever die, eh? Kwa mazishi yako, nitaenda nianze kuchukua hizo madeni yangu. Ndiyo at least ni jengeme amba anya. Nyumba mahali. But, akasema apana. Iyo ni sadaka ni mepatia mungu. Uh, and so, generosity. Gen- just test your faith. Iyo wache ni kushikilia vitu kwa mfuku. Fungua mkono. God will bless you. We will miss him. He was a great, great, simple man. And we love him. And to the entire KDF fraternity, Poleni Sana, we stand with you. And especially for the people who perish with him. We, in fact, were running with that whole group here on Tuesday. And Tuesdays and Friday were his days. If I can ask, Kwa makambi zenyu, chukwe niyo fitness serious, mukwe muna kimbia kimbia, so that at least you can take the physique and also better your own health. Asante sana and God bless all of you.